Prince with Natalie. We're going to go over the parts of the boat. Now I have one of my wonderful vintage boats here from Salem Rowing Club that they've let me use to show you the parts. So let's start with the funnest one, the funnest word. The gunnel is the side of the boat right here. So um, in other kinds of boats, they'll be either wood or they might have a deeper flange out of carbon fiber. But they all, this is the edge of the boat. It's going to be where you carry it. Um, that's the right thing. Then we've got the ribs, which are right here, including the nice, lovely step here. More about that later. Then we've got the tracks, which are what the seat rolls in. And the seat, I think you probably know what the seat is. Probably. These are the foot stretchers. Um, this is the bottom. We never step in the bottom, ever. We just don't. This part right here, if you twist to open it, it allows water. It allows water to come out. If you were to get some in there, a lot of the more modern boats are pretty watertight, but stuff happens. There's multiple ones of those compartments. Um, if we go towards this, this is the bow. The bow includes a lovely bow ball and a number holder. Which if you hold on for just a second, a lovely number four, which you can probably not see in there. It just slides right in. That's used for racing. Also, if your team practices in the morning or late at night, you can put a bow light there. We don't have any of those because we practice in the daytime. All right, moving on. That was the bow. This is the stern of the boat. This is the rigger of the boat. On the rigger, we have the oar lock, which includes the gate, which is this part that opens and shuts, and the pin. And these are things called the spacers, which you can move up and down to allow your um, oar to go up and down. More on that later as well. Um, these shoes are often actual shoes. Like I said, this is a vintage boat. There's something called a skeg bottom here. <laughs> this little boat is nice and tiny. But on this boat, you can see the skeg. You don't want to hit this and knock it off. It's, it keeps the boat stable. Some boats, like this boat, have a keel. It's the, it goes the whole way of the boat and does something similar to this guy. Let's talk about an oar now. We have a handle. I bet you know what a handle is. Then the shaft. It's the long, skinny part. Then you've got the collar, sometimes called the button, depending on who you're talking to. This is the sleeve, is the green part. This oar has nice, pretty colors. Some of them do, some of them don't. And then down there is the blade. This is a hatchet style schooling blade, but there are a lot of styles. So, thanks for listening today and subscribe for more videos.